what is up my forks for beginners family okay so market just opened it is um december 1st 2019 2 30 p.m local time wherever you are i'm in vancouver bc right now anyways okay so what do you want you guys to see we're on the four hour chart right now i hope you guys have been paying attention there's lots to learn these last few weeks um, but what you can see right now the emas are crossed there's good separation between the the uh, red ema this is the and the blue ema this is the ema 8 and 18. please have the same colors as me so i can analyze your guys charts easier this is the ema 50 colored orange and then ema 200 color purple okay so all once you see here is that uh see how price tried to you know it came down and then bounced up and it, it's trying to stay up try to get above this red and blue ema um it spiked up and then got hammered back down and then again we got a spike came back down see how price is below the blue ema this is showing you that it's trending really quickly see how it popped up it tried to stay above the red ema got hammered down so you know if you guys are watching this since it's happened one twice three times you guys could be looking for sell opportunities every time it tries to test this red ema uh, and how you would enter is I want you to start and you know we've been analyzing the four-hour chart continue analyzing the four-hour chart but when you're interested in an area like right here since you noticed now that I'm telling you see how it's being hammered down from the every time it tries to go above this red EMA the next time it tries to do that again or here it tried to do it again you can jump to the the one hour chart so you guys can just switch to by up, clicking up here to your one hour chart i i use a different sort of system i have a i you can select layouts here and i have a, like a three chart layout so when i click here it actually brings me back to all my chart layouts so we were looking at uh the four hour the four hour is here and i know you guys are st studying um you know just starting studying so i want you guys to focus on one chart uh, so don't use this three chart setup you can if you want but I, I want you to master understanding one chart before you start having you know three charts on your page but anyways i was talking about here on the four hour chart every time it it tries to test this uh this red and blue ema is trying to get above it even right here see how it did it again see how my cursor i'm spinning my cursor here but it's also showing me it's at this point so now now i move my mouse over here so we're looking at this chart and see how so say if you wanted to i'm over here now say if you wanted to analyze this area you would jump on your one hour chart which is right here so let me let me just highlight this so you can so say you wanted to investigate this area it's also um see how price came down touch this daily level and then jump back up and touch this daily level so maybe you wanted so since there's a couple of reasons here you might want to sell here uh, or you might have wanted to sell here because again it was retesting this blue and green ema it's trying to spike above it and it failed and it was, did it again and tried to spike above it and we also were at the daily level so this could have been a possible sell area off of uh you know but you could jump to the um one hour chart so we're gonna we're gonna look at uh, this area here hold on a second uh i just want to change something so if you want so see how i made that little elliptical here it only showed up on my four hour chart but if you click down here it's like a little link button um for you for you guys that are using this three chart setup you can click here and then anything you draw on one chart it shows up on all the charts you see how that works so anyways back to here if we wanted to analyze this area that's when we we jump to the one hour chart and look 
you know you can see let's I'm gonna open to expand ex to expand this chart I'm just gonna go down here in the bottom right and click on it so now we're looking at this chart so let's zoom in and see what's going on here so I, I drew this also this little channel here because price has been see this blue channel so price has been floating between this channel here touch the channel there 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 and get on the bottom for you guys new guys I can show you just quickly how to draw that so I just go up I go up here you should know already have favorited the channel tool where is it now here it is and basically just kind of draw a rough line and then fine tune it. So I'm going to go back here and let me see. That's pretty good. So see how I touch there, touch there, touch there, touch there. So you're trying to find a you know nice average. So I'm going to leave it about there and then the bottom here. So what I'm looking for is I'm trying to get the most touches. So let's see. Bottom channel is a little harder. One second. I'm gonna go like there. So I tried to make it touch there. Here, just dip below it. Touch there. Touch there. Touch there. Touch there. So, so I drew that channel. So, for you guys, you know, if you were at, you know, analyzing the four-hour charts and then dropping down to the one-hour chart to look at opportunities. You could have, uh, you know, you could have sold right here. You know, what are we looking? We see a, you know, a three pin formation. We see, um, you know, the, these three candles, these la two candles engulfed that one. So you could call this a bearish engulfing. This is more like a three, um, three uh, candlestick pattern. So there's single candle, candle candlestick patterns. There's double patterns and then there's triple triple candlestick pattern so I think I'm gonna release more candlestick pattern um, and even like individual pa um, candlesticks um, that's gonna be in the future coming up but you could have took a sale off, uh, sold off here now you guys know how to uh, measure your stop loss so you could have tried a you know because you're on the one hour chart uh, you're instead of using a 15 20 pip um, stop loss you could have used uh, let's actually measure right now um, let's see what kind of stop loss we could have used here uh, what tool do I use price so I use the price date and price range tool so say we saw you know a rejection off here three pin formation say we took a, a, a sell right here and if we put our stop loss, oh, look at that so right here I was teaching so on the four hour because it's a higher time frame you have to use 15 to 20 pip stop loss but when you drop down to the one hour look at this a five pip five pip or um, yeah so five pip or what is this 51 pipettes yeah so it's basically five pips it's very small so your stop loss is very small and you know right now you, you could have possibly sold all the way to the bottom of the channel i think we're going further back down but i don't know i don't make guesses i just uh you know follow the trend right now we're we've been trending downwards in this channel and you guys i want you to continue looking at the four hour chart and let's jump back to the four hour chart and actually quickly i want to show you the also you know say you did enter a, a sell right so say on based on the four hour chart you saw we're approaching a daily level you jumped on your one hour chart here you set a five pip stop loss and you sold off of this channel and daily so it was it was a channel rejection plus it was a daily level you know multiple reasons you could have sold there and then you can jump on the um 
what is this right here this is the 15 minute chart so 15 minute chart you I use it to monitor so like when we're in a trade say we we sold right here like we're saying we sold right there we set a uh, a five pip stop we're selling here you could jump down into the 15 minute and you can just look at the detail in the chart here see look we we fell from this daily level we hit this daily level we're, we're also in a channel right now so remember that so then we started fighting with this this center line in the channel see this look at it found support here broke through found resistance broke through found support watch these things these are all like trade opportunities so then it came back up look it tapped this daily level fell back down and that's where we sold based on the one hour chart and boom you know we're in the trade anyways uh, let me jump back to the four hour chart so I know some of you are new and some of you have been with us for you know several months uh, I want you guys to you know start posting more you know if you guys have questions ask questions but I, I want you guys to break down the charts like I just did and honestly I, I've been a little bit busy these last this last week and just jumping back on the charts here I thought I'd jump on video and just catch up catch up on the charts see what trade opportunities are coming up and I thought I'd make a recording for you guys and I'm happy I did so yeah so just jump back on the four hour and draw your channels you know this I have this channel here now because I drew this on the uh, what was it the four hour chart because I showed you now I have a channel so you could just draw a channel even on your four hour chart just do do like I showed you I want you to uh, notice that you know price is trying to get above this red ema you know because when 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 this ema crosses when this ema crosses the 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 red and the blue that means the trend is changing just like just like here see how it crossed right here and the trend went up but right now it tr crossed back over and now we have lots of separation between this that means we're trending we're trending but who knows we we've, we've you guys this last week was um you know we we stayed in this zone right here so see how price fell down fell below this daily level jump back up see that struggled with this daily level right here fell down found support on this daily level came back up tested this daily level came back down tested this level you could man you, you guys the, for, for the guys that are paying attention and I know you guys are all paying attention sorry I shouldn't say that but the guys that who are um, studying more and on the charts more uh, you're seeing all this and that's why I want to encourage all of you to spend more chart time and and post your charts and ask questions and go lesson by lesson you know understand every uh, every lesson properly before you move on to the next lesson because once you kind of just get the basics down and I've given you training for all the basics um, then it gets really fun you know honestly I, I enjoyed breaking down the charts here for you guys and uh, post what you guys think what are, what are your predictions you know use proper risk management I, I have a, um, a good strategy and and risk management and trade plan I have almost finished I've finished the video so and I'm just creating the um, work package that I'm gonna have that's downloadable so um, I'm excited to release that for you guys but um, you guys need to just master the, the basics so you can you know really accelerate your learning and really start having fun like I do I love breaking down the charts okay Talk to you soon and uh, post your markups, please. I love seeing your markups. It makes me proud. Thanks.